All right, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Wes B back with another video. Just want to give you guys a little tip for using your machine. If you want to, you know, get into get closer to a standalone machine workflow, you want to use less of the mouse and keyboard. This is the video for you. I'm gonna show you guys how to edit your MIDI notes using just a machine. And this is just some basic stuff. This isn't advanced or anything like that. But what I have is this pad laid down some chords and this is what we got so far. All right, so that's is that's the first pattern that we got and you know, those are the chords, nice little pad sound we got going. But I want to take these low notes, right? I want to take these lower notes that we got and I want to copy them over to this bass patch. So, if we get off step mode, we're in keyboard mode. Get that bass patch going for us, right? So, let's go back into events. Camera got a little bit out of focus. We'll fix that just a little bit. There we go. So, again, we want to select these lower notes. Obviously we can do that with the mouse, but we're just using the machine. So all we have to do, see this, this, these um, last two encoders on the first screen? This is your range, all right? All we gotta do is hit that last encoder. It's gonna select everything, all right? It's gonna select everything that we have. Our lowest note is at C, negative two. The highest note is at D, sharp four want to bring that high down until we have nothing but the lowest notes selected the bass notes so now we have our selection made now all we got to do is hit copy if you're not on a machine studio you're on a different machine the plus the mk3 the micro any of those or even the mk2 in that matter you probably would have to use a shift pad shortcut you know what i'm saying but let's go over to our base make sure we have a pattern down so we got an empty pattern i'm gonna go back into events and all we're gonna do now is hit paste and boom there you go you see the entire pattern is copied down we'll paste it down in the same exact spots i'm going to quantize that now we can also make notes longer or shorter and we can also change their positioning so if we go to step mode okay now you can't see it that much on the second screen because you can't zoom in on this screen but as a matter of fact i'm going to hit none to unselect everything first in events then i'm going to go back to step mode and let's say i want to make a note longer just for the purpose of this video i'm going to take this note that is at c2 and again, we can change where we want it to be at with this second encoder. As you can see, it moving up and down. And we can move it back to where it was. We can move it lower. You know, it's just messing around with your individual notes in a standalone manner in the same way you would as if you was working with the mouse. But again, we want to make it longer. As you see right here, length with this last encoder, just turn it. So all you got to do to make a note longer or to make it shorter. All right, and there you have it. Editing MIDI notes with the machine controller. You can also hold shift if you want to get more precise, uh, you know, more precise changes. All right, we'll play what we got. And of course, we'll go back and we'll fix everything and whatnot. But that's the video. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.